Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just tonight, somebody emailed me wanting, and I do not work with millimeters, but I converted my Corel over to millimeters for this video. He wanted two millimeter holes, three to four millimeters apart around the circle. I don't know how big a circle is, but this, regardless of how big a circle is, so I made a circle that is 300 millimeters, and here is my two millimeter holes. So I've got two of them. You need two of them. Let's zoom in here a little bit. You need two of them to do this blend. So select them both, go up to effects, blend. Well, I, I skipped a part. So we got 300 millimeters times 3.14 is 942 millimeters. 942 millimeters divided by four millimeters is 235.5. So I'm gonna round it up to 236. And you'll see how close I will be in just a second. Now we got our two holes. And we need to blend them 236 times. But we already have two of them to start with. So you only need 234. Always keep that in mind if you're trying to do something precise. Hit apply and it's going to blend. Then go down here to path properties and click on it and you get new path. Get on your line and... Now you blended it to that path, but we want to blend it, go up here and blend it along full path and hit apply. Now it is, has blended along that full path. And let's just see how close we are. Take your virtual or your parallel dimension tool and it says we're in the center there and move it over here to the quadrant. And we are at 3.99 millimeters. That's pretty close to four. Now he said in his email, uh, three to four. I can't imagine you wanting it any closer than these. And I actually think he's doing two sets of circles. And uh, so when you do your second set, just change your equation from three, 300 millimeters or whatever your circle is to that other size. Maybe a circle is going to be a lot bigger than my 300. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.